हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग डेसिमल्स ऑन टू डायमेंशनल ग्रिड एंड ब्लॉक टेंस ओके टू डायमेंशनल ग्रिड यू नो यस सी नाउ दिस इज टू डायमेंशनल ग्रिड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न नाउ डेसिमल फ्रैक्शंस विद टेन एज अ डिनोमिनेटर व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डेसिमल फ्रैक्शंस विद टेन एज डिनोमिनेटर ओके नाउ सी 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So, how many total parts are here? Ten. Total parts are ten. We have learned fraction. Okay. So, these are the ten parts, and from that, how many parts are shared? Only one part is shared. Okay. From this ten, one part is shared. Okay. So, one part out of ten is shared. So, elaboration of picture means what I have written here. One part out of ten is shared. From this ten part, one part is shared. So. Decimal fraction, what we, it will come? One part is shared. From how much total parts? From ten. Total parts are ten that we have to write in the denominator's place. And total parts are ten. And shared part is one. Shared part is one. So one upon ten. So how to read this? One ten. One ten. One. Yes. Okay. How to read this? One tenth. Okay. Then decimal number. So how to write this number in decimal? Okay. How to write this number in decimal? See one tenth. How to write in the decimal? Okay. So if you will see in numerical place, it is one. See one. So write this one as it is first. Okay. Now here. And denominator plus it can it is okay. So here how many zero? One only zero is given now. So before one digit give the decimal point. Okay. See only one zero is given. So before one digit give the decimal point. This is easiest way I have explained you. You see will able to understand very easily with this way. Okay. So zero point one. What it is zero point one. So how to read read as Zero point one. Or, or another way also we can say simply what we can say or point one. Only point one also we can say. See from this ten parts, how many parts are shared? Six parts are shared. Okay, so six parts are out of ten are shared. Six parts out of ten. Are shared. Okay, so how to write this in the fraction? Six part are shared. Shared part we have to write in numerator place, and total parts we have to write in denominator place. Okay, at denominator place. Okay, so how to read this number? Six tenths. Okay, six tenths. Okay, now decimal number. How to write this decimal number? See, from ten six parts are shared. So zero point six will come. Yes, zero point six. Why? Because from ten six parts are shared. From ten total parts are ten. From that ten parts six parts are shared. Okay, total parts are ten, and from that six parts are shared. So zero point six, or simply what I have told you. See, six upon ten. See here one zero, here one zero. Means see ten na ten. It is one zero. Okay. So before one digit give the decimal point. Okay. Count the number of zeros here. See one zero. So before one digit give the decimal point. Okay. Then how to read this number zero point six? How to read zero point six? Nine parts are shared. So nine parts are shared. So nine upon 
10. What will come decimal fraction? 9 upon 10 is from 10 parts. 9 parts are shaded. So how to read this number? 9, 10. 9, 10. Okay. So decimal number. How to write this number? Now this is we have written in the decimal fraction. Now decimal. In, in, how to write in decimal number? Okay. So see here. From, see how many parts are shaded? 9 parts from 10 parts. Okay. So 0.9. Now we can write 0 0.9. Or simply what I have explained. See here 1 0 is V1. 1 0 so before 1 digit give the decimal point so first write this number as it is and before that give the decimal point okay so how to read this number 0 0.9 okay 0 0.9 or or 0 0.9 what will come? Or point nine means any one of the way you can read this number. Okay, zero point nine, or you can write say only point nine. Means what you can say point nine. Okay, let's see hundred. Okay, decimal fractions with hundred as denominator means denominator of decimal fraction it is hundred. Now see total. Squares are 100 squares are here. Okay, these are the 100 squares. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This 10 and see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 tens are 100 squares are here. So, from 100 squares, means these are the total how many squares? 100. And from that, one square is shaded. Means one part is shaded. From 100 equal parts, one part is Shared. So, total parts are much? 100. Okay, total squares 100. And from that one square is shaded. So, from that one is shaded. So, one out of 100 part is shaded. From 100 part, one part is shaded. So, how to read this? How to read this? 100. So, how to read this? 100. One hundred. Okay. Now decimal number. How to write this in decimal form? How to write this in the decimal form? Okay. One out of hundred. These are total parts. One part is shaded from hundred parts. Okay. So how to write this number? See. Decimal number. 0 0.01. Now you will say, madam, how you will understand? How we will understand 0 0.01? See, very simply, we I have told you. See, out of 100 part, one is shaded. So one part out of 100 part. Okay, so 0 0.01. But if you will not understand by this way, I have explained you 10. Okay, so this number we have to write in the decimal number. One upon 100, we have to write in the decimal number. So what we have to write first write this one numerator one right here as it is okay and then how many number of zero zero two zero so count the digit z this one two two digits before two digit give the decimal point understood and before that write this zero so how to write understood zero point zero one very simple way what we have to write numerator here write one as it is Okay, and how many number of zeros are here? Two zeros are there. So one, two, before two digit give the decimal point. Okay, so see zero this we have to write our own. See, again I am explaining you this. See, we have to write this number in the decimal number. So write this one. Okay, then what I say? Count the number of zeros. Okay, one, two, how many zeros are there on this one? Two zeros are there. So before two digit we have to give the decimal point. But here you will say madam only one digit is there. What you will say madam here only one digit is there. 
So how can we? So our own zero we have to write here. Okay. So one two two zero. So before two digit give the decimal point. Okay. And before that write zero. Okay. So zero point zero one. So how to read this? Zero point zero one. Okay. Zero point zero one. Ha. Or another way how we can read point zero one. Simply what we can read point point zero one. What we can read point zero one. Okay. Now see next one example. In this example, see again hundred squares are here. Okay. From that see now we will not count these all the numbers. See, this is first line is ten, then this ten twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Okay, and these three. So fifty three box are shaded. Means fifty three squares are shaded. Okay, so how many squares are shaded? Fifty three squares are shaded from hundred squares. Okay, so fifty three out of hundred parts are shaded. Out of hundred parts, how many parts are shaded? Fifty three parts are shaded. So total parts are hundred. And from that, how many parts are shaded? Fifty three parts are shaded. Total parts are hundred. And from that, fifty three parts are shaded. So how to read this number? Fifty three hundred. Okay, how to read fifty three hundred hundred? Okay, fifty three hundred. Okay, so how to write this in the decimal number? How to write this in the decimal number? What I said now, what is there in the numerator place? Five three. Okay, numerator plus five three. Fifty three is there on numerator place. Okay, so how to write this number in decimal form? Okay, so how many number of zeros are here? One one, two zeros are here. Okay, hundred. Now, nah. so hundred will come then before two digit give the decimal point. So one two. Okay, so before that give the decimal point. Okay, one two two before two digit, not after two digit. Okay, before two digit give the decimal point and write here zero. So zero point five three. What will come? Zero point five three. Zero point five three. Or simply point five three. Okay, point five. Three. So understood. Hundred means decimal fraction with hundred as a denominator. If denominator will come hundred, then how to write the number in decimal form? Understood. Now students, let's see thousand. Decimal fractions with thousand as denominator. Decimal fractions with thousand as denominator. Now for ten, I have drawn the box. Okay, for hundred boxes also I have explained. Now thousand to draw here, it will take a lot of time. So with the example, I am explaining you one upon thousand. What it is one upon thousand? So how to read this number? One thousand. One thousand. Okay, thousand. So how to write this number in in the decimal? How to write this number in the decimal? What I said now, you may not see. Out of this thousand, one it is shaded. Okay, one part is shaded. So write this one as it is. And after that, what I said, you count the number of zeros. See, one, two, three. So before three digits, see, this is one digit. One, two, three. Now you will say here there are not three digits, but we have to write about zero zero. And we have to make three digits. See how many zeros are there? One, two, three. Three zeros. So this one we have to write here, and then give two zeros before one. Okay, one, two, three. Before three digit, give the decimal point and write here zero. And how to read this number? Zero point zero zero one. 
How to read this number? 0 0.001. Or what we can say? 0 0.001. Or what we can say? 0 0.001. Okay. Now see next one example. 5 upon 1000 it is given. Means from 1000. 5 upon Five squares are shared. Okay. Suppose total squares are thousand, and from that five squares are shared. Okay. So how to write this number? See, numerator plus is five. So write this five. Okay. How many zeros are here? Three. See one, two, three. So this one, this one means this is five. But digit one, this is one of the digit one. 2, 3. See, 1, 2, 3. How many zeros are there? 3 zeros. See, 1, 2, 3. And how many digits now? Before how many digits we have to give the decimal point? 1, 2, 3. Before 3 digits we have to give the decimal point. Why? Because here it is 1000. See, 1000. 1000 means it has 3 zeros on 1. See, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so before 3 digits give the decimal point and this is a point. Zero. So 0 0.005. How to read this number? 0 0.005. Or 0 0.005. Let's solve practice 6.1. Express the following in return or oral forms in two ways. We have to write in two ways. Okay. See. 0 0.928. Very simple way. I have explained you already. Okay. So how to write this number? 0 0.928 Okay 0 0.928 Or simply you can say this way also 0.928 Okay and another way Another way what it will come? 928,000 Yes, this number. See, this is decimal number. So, this is decimal number. So, this is which place? 10. First place is 10 place. 100. And this is 1000. Okay? This is 1000 place. So, 900. So you have to write 90. 
So four ferric will come at unit place means once. So now see whole number part A and decimal part begins. So what we have to write here decimal point. So after he four what will come decimal point. Okay now one tenth. So in tenth place what will come here one two hundred. So hundred here what will come two and then three thousand. Okay so here will come. Three. So how to write this number in the decimal form? Four point four point one two three one two three. Okay, four point one two three. Now let's see next example. Thirty a. What it is? Thirty a. Okay. What it is? Thirty a. Thirty a means thirty plus a. Thirty means three is at which place? Tens place. So right here three. Eight is at which place? Unit place or ones place also we can say eight. Okay. Plus c plus means this c whole number part ends and now decimal part starts. This fractional part starts. So whole number part ends. So here we have to give the decimal point. Then eight tens. So at ten place we have to write here eight. Then four hundred. See hundred. So you write four and then nine thousands. Okay. So you write nine. Okay. So how to write this number in, in how to write this number in the decimal form? Thirty eight. Point eight because eight tenths it is at tenth 
plus. So here it is decimal point. So point eight also we can write or zero point eight also correct. Now three thousand thousands what a thousand. See properly it will not come in thousands plus. It is thousand. So thousand means it will come here. So here see. Here units plus what it will come zero. No number means what we have to give zero point. Okay, directly what it is given three thousand means any number upon ten it is given no. So write here zero. Any number upon hundred it is given no. So write here also zero. Any number upon thousand it is given yes three thousand. So three will come here at thousand place. So how to write this number in the decimal form? Form zero point zero zero three. Okay, zero point zero zero three. Zero point zero zero three. Okay. Now let's solve third one example. Seven tens. Seven tens. See seven tens. Where it will come seven tens here? Okay. Now here it is given any number at the unit place means at ones place no. So what we have to write there zero. Here it is not given number means what we have to write there zero. Okay. Now here whole number part n. So give decimal point n from here. Fraction part begins means decimal part begins. Okay. So Eight ten seven tens. See here what it is given. Seven tens tens. So here and eight ten. So where we will write eight here tens now. So here we will write eight. Okay. So how to write this number down here? At hundred plus nothing is given. Thousand it is nothing is given. So what will come this number in the decimal form? Seventy twenty. See seventy point eight, seventy point eight. Okay, now let's solve fourth one example. Nine thousands, nine thousands. So where it will come nine at thousands place? See nine thousands. Now any numbers are given here for hundreds place, tens place, unit place. Nothing is given. Only nine thousands and then two thousand, two thousand. It is. This place it is given. So here for hundred place any number is given no. So right here zero tens zero units zero because what it is given nine thousands any hundred tens it is not given so nine thousand okay and two thousand two thousand okay so here give decimal point two. Thousand. See here, it is going to come. So any number upon tens, it is given. No, it is tens. Tens is given. No, so right here zero. Hundreds. No. Then thousand. A thousand plus two will come. Okay. So this number how to write in the form of decimal? Nine thousand. See nine thousand. After that, what will come? Point is this decimal point we have to give zero zero two zero zero two. Okay, 